From Interior Alaska's most trusted news source, this is your morning news update with J.R. Lewis. Good morning and thanks for joining us. It's Thursday, February 20th, 2014. And in the news at a press conference Tuesday in Juneau, lawmakers said it appears a bill to get a natural gas pipeline built is suddenly on a fast track. It's expected to move out of the Resources Committee this week. Members of the Senate minority say they were asked last Friday to prepare amendments to a bill that they haven't even done an overview on yet. Senator Hollis French said there's no quicker way to derail a mega project than to move too fast to get it done. Replacing the principal at Denali Elementary School turned out to be a hot topic at the recent school board meeting. Longtime Denali principal Tim Duran announced he's retiring at the end of the year and the school district has started a search for his replacement. Members of the Denali PTA told the board that the district is not getting parents involved in the hiring process and many Denali parents spoke during public testimony expressing numerous concerns with the way the process has been handled. Now the Alaska Supreme Court has affirmed a lower court ruling that set the 2006 value of the Trans-Alaska Pipeline for tax purposes at nearly $10 billion. Pipeline owners had argued for a lower figure of $850 million based on fees they collect from oil shippers. Superior Court Judge Sharon Gleason calculated the higher number based on an estimated $18.7 billion replacement cost minus depreciation and other factors. The decision and the higher assessment is considered a victory for municipalities that tax the pipeline. Quick look at the Fairbanks weather. Today mostly cloudy, highs 5 above to 5 below. Tonight partly cloudy, lows 10 to 35 below, warmest in the hills. Tomorrow partly cloudy, highs 2 below to 10 above. Extended forecast is still pretty encouraging. Very few clouds through the weekend into midweek. Highs pushing up to the 20s Sunday through Wednesday. Air index is moderate in Fairbanks, good in North Pole, and the Aurora forecast is also moderate. That's all we have for right now. I'm glad you could join us. Remember, for more news, sports, or weather, download that free mobile app for Android and Apple devices. From all of us here at News Center 11, I'm J.R. Lewis. Thanks for watching and enjoy the rest of your day.